शाशु नमस्तु श्लोक फ्रंगीता सत्व सुखे संजयति रज कर्मणि भारत Sattva winds one to material happiness, Raja's conditions the soul towards actions, and Tamas clouds wisdom and binds one to delusion. Namaste everyone, Suprabhatam. As we know, Saturday since children don't have school, so one of them chant in Maitri Milan, and today is Siddhar's first day of chanting, son of Dr. Vinod and Dr. Pramila Didi. Please wish him all the best for his first day chanting. So now we are in chapter number 14, which is Guna Traya Vichara, analysis of three gunas. So briefly what we have seen, our body and mind both have three gunas, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. And each guna's proportions vary. And throughout the day also the variations happen. We can see the presence of each guna in our day to life from our experience. At some time of the day, your mind is very calm, alert, you are able to grasp things very quickly and easily. That means that time Sattva Guna is more powerful. Some part of the day, the mind and body is very active, restless and dynamic. That means Rajo Guna is playing the role. And some time of the day at night, we feel sleepy. That means Tamo Guna is taking charge. So all these three Gunas interplay in all of us. But based on which Guna is predominant, most of the time, we can say a person is Sattva Guna Pradhana person or Rajo Guna Pradhana person. And this predominance can cause some binding nature also. A Guna, based on its predominance, can bind us in different, different way. Now, how to come out of the binding nature of Guna, bondage of Guna? For that, we have to first analyze the three Gunas. Just to cure a disease, First, you have to know the symptoms of the disease. So, in this chapter, from shloka number 5 to 18, analysis of gunas are done under five topics. First is, definition of each guna is given. Then, how each of them bind us, that also is told. Next, indications. How to find out which guna is predominant in me, for that indications are given. Then, consequence. At this life only, when you are alive, based on the predominance, what is the consequence you are going to face? That also is told. And then Gati, based on the predominance, after the fall of the body, what destination a person will travel? That also is told. And the previous three shlokas, 6, 7 and 8, have told two topics, definition and how they wind. And today's shloka, ninth shloka, is the summary of all the three shlokas we have seen till now. So, Sattva Guna, what is the definition of Sattva Guna? Sattva Guna here means pure Sattva, which is not polluted by Rajo Guna and Tamo Guna. Since it is not polluted by Tamo Guna, and Tamo Guna is indicated by dullness, since Tamo Guna is not predominant, what happens for Sattva Guna predominance? There is clarity of thinking, that is the first definition. Then nature of tranquility, peace, love for silence, love for knowledge, these are the definition of Sattva Guna. Now question will be, all these are very good, how can we say this is also binding Sattva Guna, how can it bind? Yes, Sattva Guna also can bind, how? Since the external environment atmosphere we cannot control, but this Sattva Guna Prasana person is dependent on silence, tranquility for happiness of mind. And whenever he does not get that silence, peace of mind from the external environment, his mind can get disturbed and agitated. So addiction, dependence on silence can become bondage for even Sattva Guna Pradhana person. Then Rajo Guna, what is the definition? Passion. Attachment. What is attachment? Attachment is colorization of the mind. Now the glasses I am wearing is a transparent one. So I am seeing all 
all the objects and people, color of dress as they are. But suppose I wear blue glasses or red or pink, what will happen? The colorization of glasses will make me see things the way they are actually not. So colorization of mind means not seeing object as they are. Not seeing people as they are, but seeing object and people as source of my happiness. And since there is passion, raga, attachment, naturally there is a desire also, another feature of Rajoguna. Desire to attain things which are not yet attained. And there is holding on tendency for things which are already attained. And what is the binding feature? Dependent on work. Since there is so much passion and desire, that desire will push the person. It will not allow the person to sit quietly. So the person is heavily dependent on work. In that way, Rajoguna can bind. Then last is Tamoguna. Nature of Tamoguna is delusion. Delusion means things appear different from what they actually are. In chapter 1 also, Bhagavad Gita, we have seen Arjuna had undergone three problems of mind. One of them was delusion. Right things appear as wrong, wrong things can appear as right. How? As a Kshatriya running away from the battlefield, which is actually wrong, but for him at that time he felt it is right thing to be done. And fighting for dharma, which is proper thing, right? That appeared to Arjuna as wrong. Though for Arjuna it was temporarily, immediately he understood something is wrong and he sought help from Krishna. So these are the three gunas. And how Tamoguna is binding? By pramada, negligence, carelessness, not doing things which you are supposed to do based on not having priority. Then laziness. Since Rajoguna is less, so there is laziness, lethargy, procrastination. The slogan for Tamoguna people will be Aaj kare so kal kare, kal kare so parso. Itni jaldi kya hai, jina hai jab parso. If I have to live for so many years, what is the hurry? Aram se relax me you do, do it tomorrow, day after tomorrow. That is the slogan. In that way, how they are bound? They are not able to do what they are supposed to do which will help them to grow in life. So in that way it binds. And the last thing is sleep. Sleep all of us are need. But if a person is throughout the day either asleep or always feeling sleepy, that again is a binding thing. That type of person should be never prescribed meditation. In sitting position also that person will sleep. So this is the analyze of, analyzation of the three gunas, shloka. The shloka says, Sattvam Sukhe Sanjayati Rajaha Karmani Bharata Gnanam Avritya Tu Tamaha Pramade Sanjayati Uta Uta, the last word means indeed, just emphasis. Sattvam Sukhe Sanjayati, just now we saw. The Sattva Guna binds us by making us addicted to tranquility. Sukha here means tranquility, silence. Rajaha Karmani Bharata. Rajoguna binds us by making us dependent on, addicted to work. Jnanam avritsya tu tamaha tu. Whereas, tamaha pramade sanjayati. Tamoguna binds us by creating negligence, carelessness. How that carelessness is developed? Jnanam avritsya. By covering our discriminative ability. Now, when these three gunas are, we are learning one point we have to remember, all the three gunas are required for us to some extent. Only predominance addiction is a problem. Without tamoguna, we will not be able to sleep. Sleep we need, so tamoguna is required. Without rajaguna, karma yoga we cannot do, so that also is needed. And sattva guna requires for jnana yoga and also whatever studies, subjects you are doing for that, a calm and contemplative mind is required. So all gunas are important for our growth. Thank you. Thank you ma'am for beautifully explaining the three gunas. The attitude of gratitude is part of sattva guna as ma'am was mentioning. I wish we wish to take two more minutes extra to pay our gratitude to the people who have really helped us. Thus, Yasvyasa has produced 16 
courses, Swayam courses. And then the coordinator of the Swayam courses, I request Dr. Raghavan Bhatt to just come and then briefly explain and then tell us who all are behind the scenes and we will re request them to come onto the stage after that. So thank you and namaste everyone. For this success many people have contributed and uh, first we would like to express our gratitude to Mr. Paramesh CM, Mr. Cinematographer and uh, theatre actor in his early life. He has produced many short movies in Canada and also a web a series in Canada and produced many movies. And he is the person behind uh, building the studio. So I request Guruji to felicitate Paramesh Ji. Request uh, Pawan Ji from Ayush TV CR who headed the project and uh, a great team leader and who always supports Esra at any time, whatever the event, whatever the function, always is with Esra who will help us. Mr. Nandish. Director of Photography and Director of Videography is meticulous in his work and excellent videographer and photographer and he is the person who producing the soil of those videos. Mr. Subramanian Producer, always smiley face, a great motivator to his team and uh, a great um, and a person to cooperate with uh, Eswasa team and Ayush um, TV team. So I request uh, Pavanji a um, few words about Ayush TV and your team, a uh, few words. Respected Guruji and uh, the whole Svyasa team. It was, I think, very, very uh, great pleasure for us to be associated with uh, this great organization. And we wholeheartedly thank Guruji for this opportunity. On behalf of my MD and the entire team of Ayush TV, Ayush TV, I think most of you know, it is a television channel wholly and solely for the uh, development of Ayurveda, Yoga, Siddha, Homeopathy, traditional Indian forms of uh, healing. And as such, we are very proud to be associated with Esvyasa. And uh, we have done a total of 640 episodes uh, together. And it was a wonderful journey. I have to thank uh, Dr. Raghavendra also for extraordinary support. And uh, in spite of a lot of uh, you know faculties, different, different modules, it was a wonderful working experience. And uh, I think together we are always there with you, Guruji. We think Ayush TV is always there to support you. Thank you. Thank you, Ayush TV. On behalf of Eswasa, again, we formally and gratefully acknowledge all the help which you have given to us uh, for successfully completing these swine courses, which have got so much of um, viewership and also so many people have enrolled for these courses and we are going to offer once again and we also thank AACT for their generous um, support for making sure that this program was a very very successful program and then I have one more small thing the IHTV coordinator from SVASA is Dr. Raghavendra Bhatt a, a very very dynamic person and uh, I am happy as well as sad to mention now he is going to 
University, Central University of Rajasthan because he is selected as a professor to Central University of Rajasthan. It's a mixed emotion because we are going to lose, but then we are also happy that it is uh, an ele elevation for his own career and also he will be the one who will be spreading the fragrance of yoga which he has got from Esvyasa to everywhere else in Rajasthan, in and around Rajasthan. We wish him all the very best and I request Guruji also to felicitate him. Sitaram, who came to the previous speech in our promotion also. And we have been very, very happy that uh, he has been able to help us in developing all the 16 different Swayam modules and the team which made this possible, headed by our Dr. Amgadirbhat, Dr. Natesh, and the whole team all have done this. 16 modules of Swayam is available freely to all the people. So we place and record our grateful thanks to AICT, in particular in Sanskrit and also to our Sita Ramdi for making this possible on this very auspicious day. With this, we... Again, I believe it's wish to just mention this one. We also have very honored guests today, three honored guests. And we have uh, Dr. Gangadhar from uh, the chairman of NMC, the National Medical Council. We have uh, Dr. T.G. Sitara, the chairman of the AACT, who was also here just a few weeks back for our convocation as a chief guest. We also have uh, S. Dr. S.C. Sharma, who is a former NAC director. We welcome you all. Today we have actually uh, examination for many of the students. That's why we have only the ones who do not have the exam. Otherwise, we have this house full for our Maithi Milan. Thank you. We will end with Shanti Mantra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Parashyantu Makasche Dukkabhavave Om Shanti 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 now I request everybody to stand up for flowers. One day,